Welcome to another reaction. You're here with Guma. We are going to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 0 now that we are up to date with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged at episode 80 and have watched the first Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged movie. We are going to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Be Bonds Beyond Time, which for whatever reason, it's more difficult than I thought it would be to get the third part of the video. But then again, part one of season zero is not on Little Karibo's channel either. So, you know, as you guys can see, copyright is a bitch. So as you can imagine, this video most probably spent 30 days engaged in battle with the YouTube copyright system. And ironically enough, it's not even Little Karibo that's doing it. <laughs> ah, let's just get started. Yeah, with music like that, that's... Yep, there's the copyright right there. Was Yugi ever in Egypt anywhere? I don't think it was. See, he even, like... Long ago, when the pyramids were still young, I was a great and mighty pharaoh who ruled over this land. Then the Shadow Games came and nearly wiped out every living creature on the planet. However, I managed to seal away the evil and place myself inside a mystic box, never to be discovered again. Hey guys, I think we found something! Ahem. I said, never to be discovered again. Yeah, there's definitely something here. Somebody keeps talking about how it'll never be discovered. Oh, me and my big narrative. <laughs> oh man, this thing's just what I wanted. My kitty could use a new litter box. Well, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> <laughs> so basically we got a la carte. Ancient Egyptian litter box. <laughs> Let's go play basketball. Dude, I love team spirit. Yeah, this is exactly what high school is really like. After three years, no, it's I'm finally not. gonna beat my record. Just gotta be real careful and try not to. Hey, Yugi. Frack. Come on, man. Stop being such a nerd. Come play basketball and be a real douchebag like everybody else in this school. Uh, look, Denny, the last time we played basketball, you stuffed me in the hoop and left me hanging there until my grandpa came to pick me up. Yeah, man, that was awesome. Wanna play? Hey, Denny. You like that basketball? Yeah. Would you still like it if I crammed it down your throat? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Those jocks can keep their basketball. And Where did that come from? In their active sex lives. I'd much rather have this. Sex life? The puzzle my grandpa gave to me. He told me if I made a wish on it, it would come true. And I know exactly what I'm gonna wish for. Taya's panties. Hey, what the? Yeah, you, Isn't that you're gold? such a loser. Why would anybody be interested in this priceless ancient Egyptian artifact that contains untold magical powers? It's so stupid. Like you. <laughs> mm, give me that back before I tear off your face and wear it as a Halloween mask. Hold everything. Hey, Tristan. <laughs> what's crack a lacking, man? I'll tell you what's crack a lacking. Tristan Taylor, that's what. You see, in this series, I play a very important role. I actually. Anyway, you guys, I was saying, your dumb box is full of dumb. You are the dumb. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Yugi is very sensitive, and if you screw around with his emotions, it could seriously damage him in later life. <sighs> Thanks for standing up for me, Taya. That's okay, Yugi. You know I think you're really cute. Hey, oh god, go the sympathy. Sometime? I meant as a friend, Yugi. Oh, um, okay. Ah, yeah. Sorry. But I do love you. Really? As a friend, Yugi. Oh, all right. I get it now. Let's have sex later, okay? Huh? As friends, Yugi. Jeez, such a pervert. Let's look at my shiny box now. Okay. Wow, what is that thing? It's an ancient Egyptian artifact. They say it contains a dark power that could threaten the lives of anyone who dares to open it. And apparently the team that discovered it all died mysteriously a few days later. So my grandpa gave it to me as a birthday present. <laughs> well, that's kind of twisted. I know, right? According to the inscription, whoever manages to complete the puzzle can make a wish and it will come true. What are so you going like to wish Dragon Ball for, Z? Yugi? Oh, that's easy. Taya's pant. Really? Uh, you gonna pull an Oru um, on me? Uh, Wait, or is it Orloff? Tristan's panties. That's what he wished for from the dragon. 
in Dragon Ball. You have problems, man! <laughs> I guess Yugi won't be needing this. Joey Wheeler, did you take that from Yugi's puzzle box? I sure did. This is my way of teaching him how to be a real man. Is that why we always steal his lunch money, too? Nah, that's just for shits and giggles. Giggle while you can, fool, for soon I shall be free and then... Oops. Oh, oh no! Help! Somebody! I can't swim! Mommy! Are you even supposed to recover that? Like, I mean, find it. Man, ever since the school hired and me, why are they doing King Gary's in fucking around. suits? I'd better get out of here before I start dancing too. Is... Hey, kid, I heard a rumor that some guys have been bullying you. Is that true? God, those eyebrows are huge. I can't stop staring at them. It's like Martin Scorsese and Jennifer Connelly had a baby. And now I'm picturing Martin Scorsese having sex with Jennifer Connelly. Why do I keep doing that? Is something wrong? I am extremely aroused! <laughs> you have problems, man. <laughs> Taya, what are you doing here? Come on, Yugi! You know I love hanging out at your creepy grandpa's game shop! There's nothing creepy about my grandpa. I am the angel of death! Okay, time to see where you're coming from now. Nice of you to come visit, Taya. I see your breasts have gotten a lot bigger. Please don't talk about those. What, your boobs? Yes, those. So you don't want me to talk about your gazongas? No, I don't. Okay, so just to be clear, I am definitely not going to bring up your double whammies. Your melons are off the table. Hooters are a no-go area. Ixnay on the Evich clay. Are you done? Yes. So, how was school? It was fun. Titties! Ah, good morning, He's actually cool in this one. I have a feeling that today is going to be super special. Ta-da! What the hell did you do? The Elite Beat agents tried to solve your problem the old-fashioned way, by dancing. But unfortunately, these guys refused to play along. So, we tried a new method. We call it beating them half to death! <laughs> Get it? Elite so, teaching them a lesson? Okay. Yes, we beat ya. You can't do this to them! They're my friends! Kind of! Sort of! Well... Not really, but still. I'm sure they had perfectly good reasons for abusing me several times a day. Nah. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Just lay into them. Be my guest. The elite beat agents don't come cheap. This beating will cost you 20,000 yen. Wow. 20,000 yen? That's like a whole dollar. Oh my god. Well, 20,000 yen would cost I'm you 200 solving bucks. Solving the millennium puzzle. I've been trying to solve You can tell I've been to Japan years. a lot. 8 freaking years. But now it feels like it's How did this take 8 years? World. Of course, this must be my destiny. I was obviously meant to solve this puzzle and inherit the dark powers hidden within. All I gotta do now is insert the last piece and... Why'd you take it to okay, school, dumbass? Okay, it's fine. After all, I, I still have my dignity. Just, just don't start crying. Whatever you do, Yugi, do not start... <laughs> I lost my puzzle piece and stuff. <laughs> Yugi. What the hell? Have you just been standing here this whole time hoping I would randomly show up? Look, do you have the money or not? Okay, pal. It looks like I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. It's time to duel. What? Come on, take out your deck so we can play a card game. Yugi, it's season zero. Duel Monsters hasn't been introduced yet. Oh. So basically this guy's the Yakuza. That's right. Oh! Oh! There, now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go learn how to become a motorcycle riding security guard. Yugi, are you okay? Oh, so he becomes one of those guys. Puzzle, I wish for Joey and for Tristan. It's okay, Yugi. We're here now. Your wish came true, man. Tristan and I are gonna protect you. Yeah. You guys are screwed. I wished on the puzzle. My face! For Joey and Tristan. Oh, my sperm. I'm, I'm kind of ashamed that kicked. there's martial artists that do this. <laughs> That's not what martial arts is about, but okay. Uh, Yugi. Yugi. Huh? Yugi, it's me, your fairy godmother. But I don't have a... Shut up and listen. You have to finish the Millennium Puzzle, Yugi, and then you will live happily ever after. Happily oh God. ever after? Happily ever after. Oh, God. Yes, that's it. <laughs> yes, the power. The absolute power. Uh, what? 
the... Garbage day. Yugi, what the hell are you doing? Ushio, baby, how's it hanging? Get it? Because you're gonna die. <laughs> uh, I guess you had to be there. Are you gonna give me the money now? Tell you what. Yeah, and we're gonna get copyright by Marlon Manson now. Hi. Wanna play a game? What sort of game? First one to die loses. Look, the Queen of Spades. What does that do? You lose. Whoa! I hope you like giant man-eating worms. Huh. I wonder what he meant by that. Oh my god, that is what he meant by that. Now, let that be a lesson to you, young man. Bullying is not very nice. So I don't want to catch you doing it ever again. Got that? Man, last night was pretty crazy, huh, Yug? I'm afraid I don't remember any of it. Especially the part where an evil spirit used my body to kill a man in cold blood. That's what they you all say. problems, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it, like, Joey and Tristan were bullies, and they got their asses kicked. I, I would consider that, like, fair. You know, learn your fucking lesson. Because most of the problems caused in the world are because of indifference. And because of the lack of empathy between person A and person B, person A treats person B like absolute shit. So by person A, you know, going through the same sort of experience that person B goes through, they can now empathize with person B, and therefore stop being a dick. So, when Joe and Tristan got beat up, I was like, you know, you got beat up, you like, you, your assholes had it coming, right? You're beating up Yugi, you get beat up. Balance, checks and balances. And, you know, then you have this guy going around, you know, extorting for money, essentially running a racketeering rack. Not really fair. Like, you know what I mean? I, I know, I know it's an anime. I know it's an anime. But it, it, it's one of those things that strikes close to home. So, you know. I mean... <laughs> I was beat up as a kid a lot and all this sort of stuff. And I did martial arts too. And... Like, there's multiple points that strike close to home. A, martial arts was not made for that. And B... It, it's not cool. It's not cool. But before this goes too deep, I, I'm enjoying Season Zero so far. Grandpa is a lot more entertaining in this one than he was in Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. But then again, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, he's just a side character and he actually had a little bit of a role. I'm kind of happy that we have Evil Pharaoh because we do see Evil Pharaoh towards the end of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. I want to say the end, but like episode 75 onwards. So I want to see a little more evil come out because he's giving me Alucard vibes from... You know, Team Four Stars, Alucard. But then again, Alucard is pretty much very similar to that in the actual anime. And then if we got to go into the actual manga, which I didn't read, but they have the Helsing Ultimate, da, 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 you know, he kind of enjoys it. He's an asshole, but he's a lovable asshole sort of thing. I mean, come on. You know, like, that's why we love him. <laughs> All right, onward to episode two. I didn't get this from Little Karibo's channel for whatever reason. I think he got copyright striked. But as you guys see, there are multiple audio clips and all it takes is one music company to be a dick about it. They're going to be like, you have 10 seconds of audio clip in your 10, 15 minute video. We fuck you. We fuck you right now. And it's like, really? Really? Like, wh wh what if the guy gives credit? What if someone that's watching the video goes, that's a cool tune. I wanted to listen to that song and I might go buy the album and go to the concert. And music company's like, no, no, fuck you. We don't want free promotion of our music on your video. No, fuck you. It's like, you, you got to think about it because, um... You know, some of you guys might know this is the new shit by Marilyn Manson, which was a song that plays when Evil Farrow is hanging up the thing. I discovered Marilyn Manson through absolute luck by watching videos and, you know, seeing a clip of his mob scene video, um, you know, through sheer luck. And by finding it again and then someone referencing it, I was able to, you know, find what the song was, who the artist was. I went on to buy his books, his albums, a 10 multiple of his concerts. So it actually, in the grand scheme of things, benefited the music company and the artist and all of that sort of thing. But apparently 10 second clips in an anime abridged is not allowed because the music company has some logic that we mere mortals cannot comprehend. 
which probably explains why their industry is going to absolute shit. It's the morning. Uh, I'm currently sipping my coffee, so I'm like that guy in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green, if you prefer the Japanese version. Uh, when you go into to Celeron City, you know, he doesn't let you through until he's had his coffee. I'm about one-third way down, but um, yeah. Thank you for requesting this video. It's probably 30 days late because of copyright. But I do my best. See you in the next one. Did you come out? Bye! You have a hidden talent you don't know about, like Paris Hilton being an actress. Oh, scratch that. <laughs> Wait, kid, you dropped your Time microphone. To go bring on his ass. You wanna be an Air Force Ranger? You wanna live a life of danger? You don't wanna get raped by strangers? Think of a bitch.